This is win number eight for you. How does this feel to go off with a bang? Oh, it felt good. Uh, it felt good to have a race car roll around there at nice. And, I mean, she was just a pleasure to drive. We finally got her rolling around there. And, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Steve, at the end, you, uh, Darren chose the inside for the one start, and you got the jump on the outside. Then you chose the outside, and he showed his nose, and you were driving that card harder than I think I've ever seen you drive, and you wanted it so bad tonight. That was awesome to see. Well, I did want it, but I had a good, a good working race car, too. I think it was underneath me. I could hit the choppy stuff and get through it. And that's where we've been struggling, putting a load of fuel, my fat butt in there, <laughs> just flopping around everywhere. But uh, we got her corrected tonight and got her in her good. It seemed like that bump off turn four was kind of getting a couple of the cars upset. Was it affecting you at all? Oh, it bounces uh, quite a bit, but, it's, but it kept the car in the right spot. It still was hitting it right, and, and it was bouncing, but it was jumping out of there. Well, it's awesome to see you in victory lane tonight. Steve Kinzer in the Bad Boy Buggy TSR number 11. Congratulations on a victory tonight. Second place finisher in the Great Clips number 9, Darren Pittman up to stage. Darren Pittman, second place tonight. Last night you chose the inside. Tonight you chose the inside. Are you regretting choosing the inside? I don't know. It's, uh, you can go back and wish you could change your, you, you know, your line every time. I lost that start, but then he chose the outside, and I beat him on that start, and then left the door open for him to slide me. And I don't know. I'll, I'll run this one through my head about 100 times before I go to sleep tonight and try to figure out what I should have done different and what I needed to do different. This car uh, whole week was way too good to not win a race, and uh, I just feel like as a driver that, uh, man, I just got to do a better job. And we, we've got a really good car, Kale. Colton and Mike, they worked their tails off, and, and we've had a fantastic last year. We started off great this year, but we haven't won a race since June, and I ain't going to lie, that's burning on us, on me, especially pretty hard. So uh, anytime we start on the front row and run second, that was a hell of a race. I tell you what, I had fun. Uh, you know, hats off to the king, and, uh, you know, that was a hell of a race. So uh, I'm sure the I enjoyed it, so hopefully the fans did. Uh, it just sucks to come out on the, on, on the losing side of it, but uh, our car's fast. We'll go to Vegas and uh, try to get a win there. Describe to the fans what it's like to race so close, neck and neck, with the King Steve Kinzer, especially being his last year. Well, you know he's hungry, uh, which, <laughs> you know, I, he, he always is. I mean, he's been doing this for so long, and I, I think he runs, a, you know, this one just like he did his first. So uh, he's not going to give me an inch, and, uh, you know, he doesn't expect you to give him one either. So. You know, uh, when you beat him, you earned it, and uh, you, you know if you can run close second to him, that you had a pretty good car also. So, I uh, just got to thank Willie Kane, Factory Kane, uh, Great Clips, Sage Fruit uh, is out here with us, Curb Records, all the sponsors on board this team. It's a great team to be part of. Happy to be with KKR, and uh, it's a good start to our year, and uh, we're excited for you know to try to defend our championship and uh, see what the rest of the year holds. Well, congratulations tonight, second place finisher Darren Pittman in the Great Clips number nine. Darren. Donnie, I was watching you all night. You tried the top, the bottom, everything you could to make a pass. Just couldn't quite get out of that third position tonight. No, we had, uh, that's the best we could do. You know, there's a pretty good racer in front of us. So we were about the same speed. We just could never, uh, you know, hit traffic right and get up there in it. So uh, hats off to the STP guys. They've done a phenomenal job. And, um, you know, it uh, feels good to be running good. So, um, you know, we'll just keep, uh, keep plugging along and uh, keep trying to win races. What can you learn from your teammate, Steve Kinzer, who is now tonight's winner? Take notes from tonight and go on forward. Uh, anybody that ever counts him out is a fool. I can tell you that. It's, uh, he's still uh, obviously got that uh, burning desire. I mean, watching him go after it, was, uh, it's pretty fun to be able to be that close to see it. I wish, uh, wish I'd have been in the mix of it. But, um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, we'll work harder tomorrow and um, be there next time. Well, two top three finishes for Tony Stewart Racing tonight. Not a bad night. Congratulations, Donnie, on tonight's third place finish. Thanks, Donnie. Back to you, Johnny. Paul McMahon, consistency is key. You've been consistent here all weekend. What does it feel to win this Gator? And maybe this could be Happy Valentine's Day for the wife? Yeah, you know, this is, this is pretty cool. All weekend long, I, all I wanted was to give me a Gator. Uh, I guess I'm taking Daddy home and their little babies. But, uh, you know, I just got to thank Chad and Jane Clemens for giving me the opportunity to drive this hot rod every night. Uh, everybody at CJB Motorsports, Nice Street and Landis, uh, Bears Tree Service, All-Star Performance, Kistler Engines, uh, Driven by Joe Gibbs, Racing Oils, uh, Butler Built Simpson, everybody that helps out on this race team. Uh, you know, I got to thank them. Thank my wife for uh, putting up with me, uh, being gone as much as I am. And, uh, you know, I, she was a little, I didn't get to race all last week and I was gone all week. And then uh, I think this will make up for it a little bit. How much 
confidence does this put in your team going into the rest of the 2014 season? Oh, it's a big confidence boost. You're leaving here, uh, running well all week. Uh, this is a big wild card coming down here because um, you can you can be really good or really bad, real easy. So uh, to come out of here with a good, consistent run, we weren't as good tonight as I'd like to have been, but uh, you know we'll take home a top ten and, and uh, move on and uh, head to Vegas. Well, congratulations to you and your whole CJB Motorsports team.